On this episode of Fishing Adventure, we're staying on Mare Island and catching Bird Snapper. Oh. <laughs> Come Get on, him up, mate. Here, he here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> It's a few days before Christmas and we're launching the Surtees at Tauranga Sulphur Point with the plan to head to Mare Island, which is also known as Tuhua. Sulphur Point has safe and hassle-free launching options and provides easy access out past the mount to the open ocean. Tuhua is the largest island in the Bay of Plenty and is around 35 k's from the Tauranga Harbour. The surrounding waters are well known for game fishing and many trophy marlin have been caught here along with some of New Zealand's biggest kingfish and snapper. The northern end of Mare is a marine reserve, so be sure to check your charts before fishing there. Our first stop was a stunning southeast bay, which will be our base for our Tuhua adventure. Look at this spot. Man, what a place. So awesome. Mare Island. Looking forward to this adventure, mate. Oh, gonna yeah. We're spend two nights right here on the island. We're going to dump some gear, catch up with the custodian, and then head straight out for an afternoon fish. Access onto the island is by prior arrangement only, and can be done through the Department of Conservation's website. Upon arrival, you and your gear will need to go through quarantine process. This is a fairly simple procedure, but ensures the island remains pest free. To avoid this week's consequence, the challenge fish is a 20 pound snapper, and any method can be used to catch it. So with that wind up, it's a little bit challenging to find an area which is sheltered enough for us to be able to anchor up and get a burley trail going. It's a bit too windy for drifting, and we've got a lot of burley, so we're going to try that. So. We've come around this edge here and we've found some good signs starting to stack up just on the edge of this sort of shelf on the edge where the fowl meets the sand. So there's a little bit of snappery looking sign at the bottom there and we've got a bit of bait stuff around it. A few re rubbish reef fish but yeah, what we're trying to do is target those snapper then and around that. So we're going to anchor down and get some burley in the water, cast out some nice big baits and hopefully get some dinner sized snapper maybe some bigger ones. Just as we were getting set up for our afternoon snapper fish we spotted huge numbers of gannets and big schools of fish on the surface. This was impossible to ignore, so we headed over to investigate and see what we could pull out of it. You get it in there, mate. Get it in there. I'll go with what's known as the old mega backhander. Yep. Go on. Kawai. Yep. I don't know. Keep him for a fresh or a livey. Good size kawai. First fish it's for the trip. Bait. Nice. Yeah, some nice fresh bait to start with too, which is Well, Wow, Livy. Cook them up for our lunchy. Oh, we haven't got lunch yet. Fat one, isn't he? That's a good sizey. Oh, they're hitting it. <laughs> so many fish! So many fish. <laughs> what a sight. It's so awesome, Michael, eh? Michael, I didn't hook up. There's something wrong. Winterman. Get a net. Yep, got him. <laughs> <laughs> Snaffled it Through up. the mouth too. Oh, I just pulled the hook on my one. Oh, he's got a good fight, this one. Yeah, good. They are actually good live, especially for that shallow water stuff. Got a hand, mate. That we might do later on. No, be all right. He just fell hook, so he's got a decent size. Woo. Oh, they're horses, aren't they? Beast. All right, a couple of big kawaii in there. If they don't get used for liveies, they'll get used for eating. So, good start. With the workup only producing kawaii, we went back to plan A, which was to drop the pick. Billy up a storm and hopefully raise that very challenging challenge fish, the elusive 20 pound snapper. Yeah, on. Well, she's a little bit challenging fishing, a bit trying in the conditions department, but might have our first snapper on the board. Hey, look at this. Here we go. Ooh. So, uh, ooh, 30 centimetres maybe? Probably a little bit small, but it is a target species. You're having a little bit of trouble with the wind and the current and the boat swirling around all over the place, but at least there are a snapper down there. Let's give this guy a quick measure. Oh, yeah, he's well legal. He's about 35 centimetres, that guy. So, uh, might keep that guy for dinner. Yep. Because the old dinner. We didn't bring any meat. <laughs> no, we didn't bring any meat, so he's a welcome addition. With the snapper not playing ball and the wind picking up, we headed back to Southeast Bay for the night to prepare for day two. So the conditions are extremely poor. Keep them up. 
Nimmig. Nimmig. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're out from Tauranga and staying on Mare Island for our two-day adventure. With the first evening's fishing only producing a couple of kawai and smaller snapper, the next day dawned and brought with it 40 knot winds. With the wind up, we decided to explore the island itself with a mission into the wilderness. Tuhua is a wildlife hotspot and there are several marked tracks which allows all visitors to explore and experience this unique piece of country. The island is managed by our good mate Vic from the Tuhua Board of Trustees and she in partnership with Doc do a fantastic job of making sure the island is well maintained but also enjoyed by others. Tuhua is also the Māori name for obsidian. Obsidian is a jet black glassy stone and this is one of the few places in Aotearoa where it is found. Once inside the island's bush you almost feel as though you're in another world and there are two big freshwater lakes. Mir is home to some rare wildlife including kiwi, tuatara and kakariki amongst others. It's hard to believe you're in the middle of the Bay of Plenty, and there's definitely a sense of mystery on this island. Oh, what a mean island. Hell yeah. This place is wicked. Some awesome scenery. 40 knots out there, it's a good thing we're up here. On the Devil's Staircase, mate? We'll carry on, eh? On to the Devil's Staircase. Exploring the island was a great chance for us to check out what Tuhu had to offer, but also the sea conditions. We could see that although the wind was howling, there was a reasonably sheltered area just around the corner from our base. With that in mind, we hurried back to get out on the water to see if we could wrangle out that 20 pound challenge fish. So the conditions are extremely poor, but we have managed to punch around the corner in the Surtees. Nice little bay here, it's relatively safe, out of the swell. It's got a lot of swirling wind. So we're gonna put some burly in the water and uh, chuck down some big baits and hopefully just maybe pick up a stray snapper or two. Is the plan anyway. It's gonna run with unweighted baits or in 20 metres of water. Meg, you're going with what? Single hook? Yeah, mate, just a it's nice and simple single hook rig. So I've got a six barrow onto a hundred pound trace. I've got about a metre and a half of that onto a swivel, onto my 15 kilo mono. And just nice single strips of bait. It's just a little bit of car white. Just gonna hook it straight through right, right there. When I'm, I'm straight lining this, so I'm gonna give the fish plenty of time to swallow it and hopefully come up with the goods. But nice solid knots, nice solid leader, because there is a bit of bush down there and a few rocks and stuff, so we need to have the abrasion resistance to be able to land those bigger fish. Captain Cabin. <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? That's what the wind will do. <laughs> Might we'll have a little bit more dinner here, Mick. Oh, yes. It's not a monster, but it's a uh, first fish for this spot. Burley may be starting to work. In you oh. come, friend. Yes. There Cracker. it is. All right. Very, very nice. And That's a very good eater. The colour of this fish would dictate that he's on a bit of living over the sand. But living is not what he's going to be doing anymore. Dinner. In time. Awesome. Hit him, hit him. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yes, big. Go on, keep him up. There's a beast. There's a beast. There's a beast. Don't say kawai. Nah, too good for the bush. Kawai. Keep him up. Keep him up. Yeah, Mig. Oh, yes. Mig's hooked up to a beast. He can't talk right now because he's. In the midst of stopping the beast going to the bush. Yes, big. Come on. Woo! Net, net, net. Oh, yeah. come on, big fish. You're all right, mate. You're all right. You're all right. You just do what you need to do. This is where all those elements of the heavy trace and the good knots yep. pay off. Is that on a bit of squid? Nah, it's the fresh bit of carl. Oh, yeah. Getting the net ready. I'm hoping it's a snapper and not a kingfish. Oh, yes, me too. It's definitely a snap, so. What do you reckon? It's uh, very hard to tell. Okay, oh, he's going for it. It's a good fish. I reckon it's a snapper. I reckon. It's got some good head knots and just some nice. It's a beast, Michael. Where's it, Ron? They've got some colour down there. Have you? Yep. Well, I've got the net, net, net. So. Come on, mate. Here we go. 
Where are we? Got, oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got colour. Looks like a snap. Looks snapperish. It looks snapperish. It, it looks is a, a snap. big snapperish. Nice snapper. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Get him away from that, Burles. Yep, that's okay. He's got to be green as You can take your time. If he needs to run, just let him go again. Because we've got. Oh, he's a monster! Ha ha ha! Mare Island! Finally! Come oh, on, wait on, wait on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Look at that. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. We're... Smash it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a horse. That is a beast. Beast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wicked. Oh, you might have swallowed it down, man. He might oh, be coming he? home. Oh, yes, too. He's coming home. Oh, well. Swallowed it down. Like he's bleeding out his girls and yeah, everything. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but it's no use putting oh, him he, back like that. He ain't going to waste, though. Yeah. Oh, what a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Man. Nice big Mare Island snap. Few and far between, but when you get a goodie. <laughs> That's all right. You've got to be a bit patient in these places. Not a lot of fish around. But when they turn up like that, you've got to take them. Nice work, Mick. Very nice. Epic. Woohoo! A couple of combos we never leave home without is a good overhead combo and a good spin combo, especially when we're stray lining. Starting with the overhead, this is the Okuma Cortez combo. Fantastic combo for stray lining. It's a star drag, so you just have to flick the reel into free spool, let that bait go down to the fish. When the fish grabs the bait, it swims away with it. All you need to do, flick it back into gear again and set the hook. And the other extremely popular combo is the Avenger Bait Feeder. Now this particular reel is purpose built for stray lining. It's got this little lever on the back. Now what that little lever does, it disengages the main drag at the front there and allows it to run with the free spool. So when a fish runs away with the bait, you let it run, and as soon as you're ready to set the hook, turn the handle, bang, set the hook and you're in. We've also got this little tensioner on the back here. That just controls that bait feeder mode. So if you've got strong current, you can just tighten that up a little bit just so you've got enough pull there when you're letting line out so when a fish does grab it, you can detect the difference between a fish biting it and the current pulling it. So there you have it, your spin and your overhead combos for stray lining. Pick your poison, it's really personal preference, but as you just saw, Mig's a big fan of this combo for good reason. Oh, holy hell! <laughs> Two are turning it on. <laughs> it's all about adventure and action on Mare Island, and we're staying on the island in South East Bay. With day one only producing smaller fish, we started day two with a hike into the wilderness and are now trying to land our challenge fish, which is a 20 pound snapper. Meg's first fish of the trip went very close, tipping the scales at 19 pounds. So we're persevering with big stray line baits to see if we can't hook a bigger boy. Hit him, Miggy, hit him. Big bait? Just stopped. Sorry, I'll be back. Big bait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Miggy, go. Oh, yeah, that was a good run. Oh, holy hell! <laughs> Hell's teeth! Holy hell! Hell's teeth! <laughs> Keep it up, you got the drag locked. Lock it, lock it. Absolutely lock that drag. <laughs> this is a massive fish. This is it, man. Come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's getting railed by a snapper. Woo! Go on, yeah. man. Come on, Cortez. I go, the Cortez is dealing to him. Oh my goodness. You've beaten him. You've got him out of the bush. Yeah. Well, 18 metres between him and the bottom. Oh, it's another big snapper, Mick. You've done it again, Mig. Look, you and the Cortez. Oh, man, this Cortez oh, is unstoppable way. It is. Oh, it's another big fish. Is he going to go the numbers? Oh, no, he's, he's the same one. as the other one. Put him oh. in the corner, maybe. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Absolute <laughs> cracker. The oh. change of light is turning it on. Yeah, you hooked on the mouth yep. this time? Yep, yep. Yeah, that'll be why he fought a lot harder. That last fish Mig, Mig hooked, which was probably about oh, 45 minutes ago now, Nothing between then and now. That was hooked in the guts. So when he fights, they don't fight as hard because it's obviously down in their guts and not quite sure what's going on. But that one hooked in the mouth. Way harder scrap. Yep. Wicked fish. It's cool to be able to let him go too. Oh, sharp teeth, yeah. Sharp teeth on this guy. This is a little the KL hook from Black Magic in the corner of the mouth, doing its job. Send him on his okay. way, Miggy. Send him on his way. Haven't had him out of the water too long, so I'm sure he will have no trouble. He's got those peck fins out, so he's still in the neck. There he goes. No trouble. Just need to hold those big fish there, wait for them to swim away. Easy as that. Awesome. Now, I'm just checking my trace, because um, that fish definitely got down into some weeds and some rocks, and you can just run your fingers down, and you can feel little nicks in the line. 
It's easy just to throw it back down, especially when the fishing's sort of on. But it's no use targeting those big fish and then losing them because you've got a little nick in your line. All it takes is two knots. So I'm going to do that. Get some black magic trace out of the out of the tackle box and onto the next one. That was a definite run. Hooked him? Yep. Swim back oh, on the boat. Not a big one, I don't think. Oh, no, it's not even that big. Just dropped off. Just dropped it then. Ah! Oh, all right, let it back down there, Mick. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it took off with it and then stopped and took off again and then probably just stopped as I came up tight, but you never do know. I'll try and get it back down there again, because it's always the case if you oh yeah, it might be him back again. Yeah, he's back, yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, massive run. Okay, okay. He's got it, he's got it. Let him run with it big time this time. Here we go. Yep, got him this time. Solid. Yeah, solid. Oh, yeah, good fish. I don't think he's quite the monster of that we're getting, that you were getting before, Mig, but I'll take it, mate, because it's pulling back when I pull. Yeah, <laughs> not pulling like, back, yeah, not yeah. Not like the other fish I've been catching on this trip so far. He's actually fighting with me. Awesome. Bit of colour back there, nice flash of red. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just that nice. Pretty much that sort of two and a half, three kicker. Yes, yeah, nice benchy. Nice one for the bin, I think, yeah. that one. Oh, they fight hard, don't they? Oh, oh, yes. Good fish. That is a good one for the bin. My bait's looking pretty mangled, but it's good to go again. He gives him the gills because we're keeping him. Oh, that hook nearly came out. There you go. Good result, Mick. You still in there? Yep. All right, maybe we're coming into the uh, change of light because it is getting... The sun's just dipped behind the back of there. So into the old... What's known as the golden session as far as often snapper fishing goes, so... In the bin. Yeah, big run, big yeah, run, big run. Yeah, good run. run. <laughs> yep, you won't separate me from this rod. All this combo. Literally... Uh, Cortez reel and Cortez rod. Work it. Just another solid snap. Need a hand? Where nah, mate, you'd be sweet. Oh, he's a beast. When I say beast, like a, just another nice, just another probably three, big. four kilos, three or four kilos. Something like that, eh? Yep, mean fish. Get him in the net. Yeah, maybe oh. need him, mate. Be all good. Yeah. Meg's a big fish, big snapper slayer today. <laughs> Most definitely, Meg. Sick. Nice oh, fish. Oh, bloody good. Wicked. He's a solid fish, that one. He is going in the bin. Can't really catch anything a lot much smaller. As you can see, that's what damages your trace too, is that um, that trace there pinging around in those uh, in his teeth. So he's hooked down in the gut. So I'll be changing that trace once again. But it's all good, because we're landing these fish, which is wicked. Nice, nice blue spots on them, eh? Beautiful. Wicked. Lovely Mare Island snap. Boom. One of the common problems you'll encounter when fishing with bait and burley is pesky seagulls stealing your bait. Here are our top three tips for stopping this from happening. Go. Tip one, the pitch and switch. Tip two, the enraged fisho. Ah! Get out of it! Get out of it! Get out of it! Ah! Ah! Just there. And tip number three. Get out of it! The horny fisho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there! Yeah. Get out of it! <laughs> yep, yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah, you got it. Got to be. No. Yeah, he's there. Yep. Oh. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Good, eh? Yeah, good fish. I've got the drag pretty tight, though. <laughs> <laughs> Far out, eh? Just solid snaps, and we're right on the... Just about dark. I'll slide the net under it, eh? Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, good fish. Oh, yeah, he's a goodie. Maybe a bit bigger than that, maybe a fiver. 
It's come up pretty easy, hasn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Cracker. my goodness. Oh, he's a fitting. To who are turning it off? <laughs> Some Turn. cracking snapper. Coming it's worth coming right. out there. Call's almost made to stay in today. Corner of the mouth again. Let it go and maybe cruise home. Yeah, OK. Sounds like a good idea. Beautiful fish. Solid condition, and uh, he's fighting fit, so we've seen him on his way. And we'll be on our way back yep. to uh, South East Bay, Mick. Oh, yes. Have, a, have another night on there and cruise home in the morning. Sounds like a plan, mate. So that's us. We'll catch you guys next week. So you have eaten raw octopus with wasabi before, mate? Can't say I have, mate, but I guess we needed to catch our challenge fish, so... Yep. She's a pretty hard one to get. Indeed. How about something to wash this down? Waiter! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the hatch, eh? Down the hatch. Oh, oh. 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 O